Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Physiology Learning. In today's Explain Why series, we are going to understand why raised intracranial tension will lead on to increase in arterial pressure. Let's understand what is the reason behind it. First thing is, whenever there is a raised intracranial pressure, let's think there is a severe pressure in the brain. What will happen to the vessels inside the brain? Obviously, they will get compressed. So, there is severe compression of the vessels in the brain. This compression will lead on to hypoxia in various centers of the brain. Among these centers, there is one center which is very, very, very responsive to this hypoxia. This is called as RVLM, which is rostral ventrolateral medulla. All of us would have studied this center in BP receptor or BP regulation, wherein it activates the sympathetic system. So, what happens now? This RVLM gets activated and this activation causes severe sympathetic vasoconstriction. And whenever there is severe sympathetic vasoconstriction, the BP is going to shoot up like anything. So, this is a form of ischemic response which is seen in raised intracranial tension. If it is seen in other condition, it is also called as CNS ischemic response. Whenever it is due to raised intracranial tension, it is called as Cushing reflex. So, this mechanism is part of Cushing reflex. So, let us see what is this Cushing reflex. In Cushing reflex, we have a classical triad like three things will happen. First thing is there is a rise in BP. As we have seen, there is a rise in high rise in BP. This high rise in BP will be obviously sensed by our baroreceptors. Whenever there is a high rise in BP, what it is going to do? This baroreceptor is going to centrally and it will inhibit the BP. But right now, it cannot do that because RVLM is directly stimulated by the hypoxia. At the same time, this baroreceptors will reduce the heart rate. So, because of this increase in BP, there is bradycardia. So, that is why this bradycardia is called as reflex bradycardia. This raised ICT not only affects the blood pressure centers, it also affects the respiratory centers causing irregular respiration. So, the triad is increase in BP, reflex bradycardia and irregular respiration. I hope it's clear. Thank you for watching. We'll see in the next video. Thank you.